Vostok Station is a Russian research station in inland Princess Elizabeth Land, Antarctica. Founded by the Soviet Union in 1957, the station lies at the southern pole of cold, with the lowest reliably measured natural temperature on Earth of 89.2 degrees Celsius. Research includes ice core drilling and magnetometry. Vostok was named after Vostok, the lead ship of the first Russian Antarctic expedition captained by Fabian von Bellingshausen. Description Vostok Research Station is about 1,300 km from the geographic South Pole, at the center of the East Antarctic Ice Sheet and within the Australian Antarctic Territory. As a signatory to the Antarctic Treaty System, Australia does not exercise sovereignty over the territory. Vostok is located near the Southern Pole of Inaccessibility and the South Geomagnetic Pole, making it one of the optimal places to observe changes in the Earth's magnetosphere. Other studies include actinometry, geophysics, medicine and climatology. The station is at 3,488 meters above sea level and is one of the most isolated established research stations on the Antarctic continent. The station was supplied from Ni Station on the Antarctic coast. The station typically contains 25 scientists and engineers in the summer. In winter, their number drops to 13. The only permanent research station located farther south is the Amundsen Euro Scott South Pole Station, operated by the United States at the geographic South Pole. Some of the challenges faced by those living on the station were described in Vladimir Sanin's books such as Newbie in the Antarctic, 72 degrees below zero, and others. History Vostok Station was established on December 16, 1957 by the Second Soviet Antarctic Expedition and was operated year-round for more than 37 years. The station was temporarily closed from February to November 1994. In 1974, when British scientists in Antarctica performed an airborne ice penetrating radar survey and detected strange radar readings at the site, the presence of a liquid, freshwater lake below the ice did not instantly spring to mind. In 1991, Jeff Ridley, a remote sensing specialist with the Mullard Space Science Laboratory at University College London, directed a European satellite called ERS-1 to turn its high-frequency array towards the center of the Antarctic ice cap. It confirmed the 1974 discovery, but it was not until 1993 that the discovery was published in the Journal of Glaciology. Space-based radar revealed that the subglacial body of fresh water was one of the largest lakes in the world, and one of some 140 subglacial lakes in Antarctica. Russian and British scientists delineated the lake in 1996 by integrating a variety of data, including airborne ice penetrating radar imaging observations and spaceborne radar altimetry. Lake Vostok lies some 4,000 meters below the surface of the central Antarctic ice sheet and covers an area of 14,000 km squared. Equals historic monuments equals Vostok Station Tractor, Heavy Tractor THTH 11 cents which participated in the first traverse to the South Geomagnetic Pole, along with a plaque to commemorate the opening of the station in 1957, has been designated a historic site or monument following a proposal by Russia to the Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meeting. Professor Kudyashova Euro Unregistered Trademark S Drilling Complex Building The Drilling Complex Building stands close to Vostok Station at an elevation of 3488 m. It was constructed in the summer season of 1983 Euro 1984. Under the leadership of Professor Boris Kudyashov, ancient ice core samples were obtained. The building has been designated a historic site or monument, following a proposal by Russia to the Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meeting. Climate Vostok Station has an ice cap climate, with sub-zero cold year-round. The station sees an average of only 22 mm of precipitation per year. On average, Vostok Station receives 26 days of snow per year. It is by far the coldest spot on Earth, with the lowest recorded temperature being minus 89.2 a florin. The average summer temperature is minus 31.9 a degree Celsius. Meanwhile, the average winter temperature is minus 68 a degree Celsius, and the highest recorded temperature was minus 14.0 a degree Celsius. 
Vostok has the highest sunshine total for any calendar month, at an average of 708.8 hours of sunshine in December, or 23 hours daily. It also has the lowest sunshine for any calendar month, with a theoretical maximum of zero hours of sunshine per month during polar night. Vostok is the coldest place on Earth. The average temperature of the cold season is about a 65 a degree Celsius, while the average temperature of the warm season is about a 42 a degree Celsius. The lowest reliably measured temperature on Earth of an 89.2 a degree Celsius was in Vostok on July 21, 1983 at 5.45 Moscow time, which was 07.45 for Vostok's time zone, and 01.45 UTC. This beat the station's former record of minus 88.3 a degree Celsius on August 24, 1960. In comparison, carbon dioxide freezes out of the air at 84 a degree Celsius at typical local atmospheric pressures based on altitude. Lower temperatures occurred higher up towards the summit of the ice sheet as temperature decreases with height along the surface. The coldest wind chill was a 124 a degree Celsius on August 24, 2005 with a real temperature of a 74 a degree Celsius. Though unconfirmed, it has been reported that Vostok reached the temperature of a 91 a degree Celsius on July 28, 1997. The warmest recorded temperature at Vostok is a 14.0 a degree Celsius, which occurred on January 1974. The coldest month was August 1987 with a mean temperature of a 75.4 a degree Celsius and the warmest month was December 1989 with mean of a 28 a degree Celsius. In addition to the extremely cold temperatures, other factors make Vostok one of the most difficult places on Earth for human habitation, an almost complete lack of moisture in the air. An average wind speed of 5 meters per second, sometimes rising to as high as 27 meters per second. A lack of oxygen because of its high elevation at 3,488 meters. A higher ionization of the air. A polar night that lasts approximately 130 days, from late April to late August, including 85 continuous days of civil polar night. Acclimatization to such conditions can take from a week to two months and is accompanied by headaches, eye twitches, ear pains, nosebleeds, perceived suffocation, sudden rises in blood pressure loss of sleep, reduced appetite, vomiting, joint and muscle pain, arthritis, and weight loss of 3 a euro 5 kilograms. Ice core drilling. In the 1970s the Soviet Union drilled a set of cores 500 a euro 952 m deep. These have been used to study the oxygen isotope composition of the ice, which showed that ice of the last glacial period was present below about 400 m depth. Then three more holes were drilled, in 1984, hole 3G reached a final depth of 2202 m. In 1990, hole 4G reached a final depth of 2546 m. And in 1993 hole 5G reached a depth of 2755 m. After a brief closure, drilling continued during the winter of 1995. In 1996 it was stopped at depth 3623 m by the request of the Scientific Committee on Antarctic Research that expressed worries about possible contamination of Lake Vostok. This ice core, drilled collaboratively with the French, produced a record of past environmental conditions stretching back 420,000 years and covering four previous glacial periods. For a long time it was the only core to cover several glacial cycles. But in 2004 it was exceeded by the EPICA core, which whilst shallower, covers a longer time span. In 2003 drilling was permitted to continue, but was halted at the estimated distance to the lake of only 130 m. The ancient lake was finally breached on February 5, 2012 when scientists stopped drilling at the depth of 3770 meters and reached the surface of the subglacial lake. The brittle zone is approximately between 250 and 750 m and corresponds to the last glacial maximum with the end of the Holocene climatic optimum at or near the 250 m depth. Although the Vostok core reached a depth of 3623 m the usable climatic information does not extend down this far. The very bottom of the core is ice refrozen from the waters of Lake Vostok and contains no climate information. 
the usual data sources give proxy information down to a depth of 3310 m or 414,000 years. Below this there is evidence of ice deformation. It has been suggested that the Vostok record may be extended down to 3345 m or 436,000 years, to include more of the interesting MIS-11 period, by inverting a section of the record. This then produces a record in agreement with the newer, longer EPICA record, although it provides no new information. See also Research stations in Antarctica, Lake Vostok, Soviet Antarctic Expedition, Vostok Traverse. References External links, Official Website Arctic and Antarctic Research Institute, AARI Vostok Station Page, Vostok Average Temperature Data, Vostok Current Met Data, Antarctic Connection Article on Vostok Station, Comnap Antarctic Facilities, Comnap Antarctic Facilities Map.